Today we have a Quad 606 clone This is the 2004-2023 Say <clears throat> see the power supply is 25 to 50 volts the original quad is rated that uh, the power supply of the original quad is uh, asymmetrical 55 volts power supply but the description of the listing for this one says up to 55 volts so <clears throat> we're going to use 55 volts power supply for this one we already have our power supply here this asymmetrical power supply this uh, dual <clears throat> 55 volts power supply So we have our switch mode power supply here. <clears throat> the board of the clone is uh, a double sided PCB. These capacitors are somewhat capacitors. The op amp. <clears throat> I believe the <coughs> I believe this is <coughs> ATL 271 Yes, this is ATL 271 of amp We also have a capacitor that looks like a solid polymer here but I'm not sure if this is a real solid polymer because uh, electrolytic capacitor can also have this type of uh, packaging. So I'm not sure if this is a solid polymer. Maybe this is just uh, an electrolytic capacitor. And the Quad 606 clone has 6 power transistor D718. According to the listing, this is a Huawei D718 rated at 100 watts so these are this has 6 of them so this should be able to provide the decent power output with 6 power output transistors and the quality when it comes to parts the quality of this clone is it differs from seller to seller as you can see the driver transistor of this one is different from the other one As you can see the driver transistor is different the other one is 81837 and the other is B, B688 if you look at this other one the driver transistors are the same B1369 but this one is using a B688 B yes that is a B688 so when buying the clone week just make sure to get the to get them at the same time so you get the similar board not this one as you can see the This two has different uh, driver transistors. 
so today we're going to test this with the uh, dummy load here we have our 8 ohms dummy load this is our 4 ohms dummy load and the orange one is our 6 ohms dummy load and we have our 1 kilohertz ultra low noise oscillator here and we have our scope here and our distortion meter now I'm going to adjust the maximum output of the amplifier just before clipping currently we have 48.8 volts pick to pick our input is 1 kilohertz you can see it here Okay, now it's clipping. You can see it here. It's clipping at the top. I'm going to adjust the output a little lower. Okay, so looks like that is the maximum power output before the signal clips that is around 103 volts peak to peak now, now let's look at the distortion So we're at the point three percent. So that's on the point one range. So that's about. 0 0.78 the voltage output is uh, really stable now let's look at the power output arrangement of the amplifier that is 103 volts to peak by 2.828 squared divided 8 so that is around 166 watts RMS and the quad is rated for the original quad is 140 watts Uh, I'll be back after I change this uh, dummy load to 6 ohms load the amp is now connected to a 6 ohms dummy load and the output is 40 volts peak to peak now I'm gonna adjust the output The amp is now connected to a 6 ohms dummy load. This orange resistor. Output is currently 40 volts peak to peak. Now I'm going to adjust the output to maximum before click.
that's 7 volts 104 it's clipping at 104 ok so the output uh, maximum voltage output to pick at 6 ohms load is also around 103 volts so you can say it's 103 volts and it's uh, clipping at 104 at 104 volts so Uh, maximum voltage output at 6 ohms also 103 volts cut our distortion <coughs> we are at the 0.3% range so that is that is 0.3 so it's around <coughs> It's around 0.15 percent. Okay, so that's around 0.15. Now let's compute the power output of the amplifier. 103 volts by 2.828. The squared by by six. So that's around 2 to 1 watts RMS. That's 221 watts RMS, 0.15%. The HD at 6 ohms load. Now I'm going to change the dummy load to 4 ohms load. The 4 ohms dummy load is now connected. The amplifier DC output. Uh, Offset is uh, still the same, around 34, 34 millivolts. Now I'm going to adjust the output to maximum just before. Clipping for ohms load. Just for on slow. The bolts. What will be the maximum? Oh, what happened? Okay, looks like a. Uh, this supply has strip we have a current limit of 2.7 ampere okay maybe i'll adjust that to maybe 3.2 amps we're going to set a 3.2 amps current limit Okay, we're going to do it again. Just before clipping. Hundred volts, it keeps clipping at hundred volts. a little flat on the top now okay, so I'm going to adjust it a little bit lower let me see if I can get it to 99 volts
Okay, the looks like that's the best I could do with the potentiometer of this oscillator. Let's see that's our output. Ninety-nine point two. Okay, that's our output. Ninety-nine point two volts, peak to peak. Let's look at our distortion. So around the point three percent range. Okay, the distortion is actually a little bit lower at four ohms load. One to one. So it's about zero point six percent. Zero point six four. The max is around 0.06 percent. 99.2 volts bit to bit. Okay, so let's check the output power RMS at 4 ohms load. 99.2 by by 2.828 inverse squared by 4. That's about 307 watts RMS. So this is the results of the Quad 606 clone, the LJM Quad 606 clone. 166 watts RMS at 8 ohms load. Distortion THD is around 0.78%. 6 ohms load, 221 watts RMS. The distortion is a little bit higher at 0.15 percent. At 4 ohms load, can do 307 watts RMS, and the distortion is a little bit lower at 0.69 percent. How much difference from eight ohms, but still lower the on the four ohms load and a little bit higher on the six ohms load. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I will make a part two video of this six or six clone, measuring the power output from twenty hertz to twenty kilohertz.